right side up today. Uh, and good morning. Don't know what that was about, but I'm really just stalling because I don't know what the heck we're going to talk about this morning. This has been an interesting addition to my morning routine, I'm not going to lie. It's uh been hard some days. Some days I really don't feel like it, and some days I really feel like it's pretty pointless. We're starting this one off with a great positive mindset. It's already been a rough morning. I've been working on my truck for like a while now, and uh, thought I'd fix the problem, but this morning the check engine light came back on. I'm sure you guys know how that is. So that's frustrating. I almost left the house without my lunch. Made it to the stop sign, reversed all the way down my street, and grabbed my lunch and then left. And then for some reason, my truck decided to kick my settings for my seat that I had saved just out the window, so I had to refigure that out. That's always fun. Listen, I'm sorry for complaining. What should we talk about this morning? You go ahead and leave a suggestion. I'll wait. That's a good suggestion. I waited a really long time, huh? I am so patient. So patient. I've noticed a new trend in uh, YouTube fitness. At least in some of the spheres that I... Well, I'm not involved in, but the people that I watch. There's been a a wave of sort of returning to the basics, which I think is really cool because for a while there, everything was so overcomplicated and they tried to make it sound so fancy and silly and you got to do this and that and you got to be in the gym for two hours doing all these wacky weird exercises. And now people are just telling you, no, not really. You just need to press and hinge and pull one to two times a week and you'll be fine. Which is really, really awesome. Press and hinge and pull is basically, you know, bench press, squat is a hinge, and deadlifts, which is a pull. Any variations of such movements one to two times per week. I don't mean to toot my own horn or anything, but right now I am deadlifting twice a week, squatting once a week, and pressing, doing a legitimate bench press, you know, twice a week. I have overhead presses and dumbbell presses and lots of pressing in my in my program, but I'm running sort of a push-pull leg sort of thing, but it's a struggle to get all of my volume in. And I really prefer a five-day split. I don't really... I like lifting, but I don't really like lifting on Saturday. At least not super intensely. I like short workouts on Saturday. Short, easy workouts on Saturday. Those are... Hold on. Oh, we're still recording. Sorry, right, had a quality control technical malfunction there. Those are the kinds of workouts I enjoy on Saturday. Just quick and easy ones. A little bit of cardio, maybe a little bit of mobility. That's neither here nor there. I am debating going with an upper-lower split. Where day one would be upper, day two would be lower. Day three is upper again, day four is lower again. And that's a four-day split where I can get pretty much pressing and hinging. Pressing and pulling I can do twice a week. But then there's still the problem of the squat. But I can throw in another another fifth day. So maybe lower two or upper two. Oh, I guess it would be upper three or lower three. I'm confusing myself. I haven't done an upper lower split in a while. See, this is what happens when I decide to dive in. When I really have no idea what we're going to talk about let's talk about something a little bit more important God has a plan for you today and uh, it might be a plan that you like it might not be a plan that you don't like but 
the truth of it is, you're going to have a hard time finding and following that plan unless you are in a firm relationship with with Jesus Christ. And, you know, it's pretty hard to communicate with somebody if you're never talking to them. So make sure that you pray today. I don't know what this talk was about, but I'm going to end it with that. Make sure that you pray. Read your Bible a little bit. But if there's one thing that I want you to take from this video, make sure that you pray at least once today. You know, if you usually don't pray throughout your day, just start with once. And tomorrow you can do twice, you know. All, all he did was create the world and die on a cross for you. So the least you could do is talk to him, you know, say hi, tell him you love him, say thank you. Ask him what his plan for you for today, for today is. Probably fall right into your lap. Listen, I'm done talking. I need to stop saying listen. It's getting really annoying. All right, guys, I'm done. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Comment and diddly do smash all the buttons, beep bop boop. Pray, God loves you. Have a good day today. Make sure that you make good, God honoring decisions. Glorify your Creator today. That is all. God bless.